Hello everybody, this is J.W. Nigerian, and I'm here with William Gladstone, author of Tapping the Source, uh, the, 12, the 12, and our newest book, The Golden Motorcycle Gang. And The Golden Motorcycle Gang. Which I had the great pleasure of writing with Jack Canfield. Excellent. You know, I first met you at Tapping the Source uh, movie premiere. You guys did a movie for that book. Yeah, How did that turn out? Fantastic. The movie's gone on. It's, it won the Los Angeles Film Festival Award for uh, Best Conscious Media. <laughs> and uh, it's entered in a couple of other film festivals. We, the, it's going to premiere the German uh, version. Premieres in spring in Germany. I think Berlin, they're flying us over. Wow. And uh, we just got some interest in Japan and South America. So it's going to end up, It's you know, Reaching its audience. And this is a little different than you had done before because, um, or, or some of the movies you've seen before, like The Secret and everything, where they just talk to people of prominence and thought leaders. You actually went out around the world talking to... We, we have everybody. We have artists and we have famous people. Mm -hmm. Then we have some other people that are just very interesting people who had a lot to offer mm -hmm. that people won't know. And we did the film in a very specific way where you don't know who's talking. So you don't know if the person talking is famous or not until the end of the movie. At the end of the movie, we did have to let everybody know who was in the film and we do have you know a lot of famous people in the movie um, movie stars like Marielle Hemingway and you know Jack Canfield's in the movie right. and Michael Beck with some of the people from The Secret but then we have people that you might not know but who are very very successful Dave Leninger uh, mm -hmm. who started uh, Remax we have um, Dean Graciosi, we have right. the person, uh, John Kilcullen, who is responsible for the success of the Four Dummies books. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a wide range of people. We even have health people, scientists like um, Nassim Harriman and Dr. Irvin Laszlo. So it's much broader spectrum, and there's actually a designed intellectual structure to the film. So it isn't just sort of highs and lows. It actually starts in one space and leads you to some very interesting conclusions mm -hmm. that we were able to gain from talking to these very, very successful people and what were the keys to success in their own lives. Yeah, a great book, a super movie, and I got, luckily, since I got to go to the premiere, I got to sit in front of that huge panel of, I mean, you know, the thought leader, you know, your th the thought leaders of the thought leaders out there. It was a great night. Well, thank you so much. And indirectly, um, when we were making that film, we interviewed Jack Canfield, mm -hmm. and Jack and I were talking, and Jack had told me a story about 10 years ago uh, over dinner about the Golden Motorcycle Gang. And the Golden Motorcycle Gang was a vision that he had when he was in graduate school. He went into a kind of trance state and imagined himself with other spirit beings riding golden motorcycles through the universe and seeing this small blue planet in distress and saying, guys, we need to go down there and see what we can do to help. And then, of course, the novel starts with the birth of Jack Canfield because, like any good spirit being, as soon as you take human form, you forget why you came and who you are. Mm -hmm. So then Jack's life was about reconnecting with that original impulse and why he in fact is on earth at this particular time. And as you read through the book, we find the connections that he has with people like Barbara Marks Hubbard, with me, right. with other people, and it all leads to the creation of the Transformational Leadership Council, because Jack's really about transformation, TLC, right. TLC. Mm -hmm. and um, so I don't want to give away the book, but it, it, it it has a purpose and, it, and it's very much related to the 2012 phenomena, which is where I started with my first novel, The Twelve, because I was uh, sort of guided, if you will, to write about 2012 because I, I found out that I had some very specific uh, linkage in my own destiny right. to 2012 and I didn't know it at the time I started my novel which was started really more as an autobiographical novel memoir really and then I had to turn it into fiction because I completed that book in 2008 and of course it was about what was going to happen in 2012 right. so you couldn't call it nonfiction <laughs> but Subsequent to writing the book, several Mayan experts and some of the Mayan themselves, as well as who became a good friend of mine, Jose Arguelles, who I didn't know at the time I wrote the novel, came to me and said, we don't know how you did it, but in this novel, The Twelve, you've really captured the essence of what our teachers have been telling us 2012 is really about, including uh, oral shaman who have been passing on their tradition of what 2012 means for hundreds of years. Right. And they have all come to me and just sort of blessed the novel and said, you know, we're really glad you wrote this and we really hope it gets out to the world. And it is now in 25 languages and with 2012 coming we think we're going to have a resurgence. It was my first novel and so I didn't make the New York Times bestseller right. list on well, that, but hopefully the, we will. The, sure. Show the book because let me go start with tapping the source. Um, this is because we talked about that. Sure. This is the Tapping the Source yeah. book. And this book is 
not the same as the film. This inspired the film, right. and there, the, the basic intellectual structure of the film does derive from the teachings of Charles Hanel's master key system, which is what this book is really a modern day version of the master key system. And who is that guy? I, I'm talking Charles Hanel. Charles Hanel was the guru, if you will, to Napoleon Hill and many others. Ah. But Napoleon Hill, and it, we, we reprinted the letter in this book, credits Charles Hanel with being the inspiration for everything that led to Think and Grow Rich. Wow. And Charles Hanel was not as well known to our generation, but at the time that he lived, which was, uh, I think the Master Key System was originally uh, sold as a mail order course in 1909, oh, yeah. it started. And at that time, he was very successful. He was one of the most prominent business leaders in St. Louis, mm -hmm. which is interesting given they just won the World Series today. <laughs> but the connection there. But um, we've actually reformulated his ideas in a very simple way in this book. And then we are releasing, actually, just next week, Tapping the Source, the original course, which is going back to the exact words of Charles Hanel and delivering it exactly as he delivered it mm -hmm. almost 110 years ago of you get one lesson, you take the lesson, you answer the questions on that lesson, and then you're mailed the next lesson. Mm -hmm. He was doing it with snail mail, and it was 10 cents. Mm -hmm. We're in a modern age, so now it's $10, and you do an email. But it's the same exact principle. Okay, and I wanted to show them the, uh, the other one, the, the new one. This is your newest book. This I, is the newest I did book. I browse it a little bit. I didn't yeah. have time to really go into it. But well, it's not out yet. Right. It's coming out on the 15th of November, though it's available for sale in some bookstores that, you know, jump the gun. Right. And, it, of course, Amazon, BarnesandNoble.com, you can order it right sure. now. Well, that's great. And, um... So you got all this stuff going on. What, where can we get a hold of you? Well, the best way to find out information about Tapping the Source is tappingthesourcemovie.com. Okay. And the best place to find out information about the Gold Motorcycle Gang is goldmotorcyclegang.com. Great. And where can we get? Where can we get a hold of you? Well. Those sites, there's ways of contacting me. You can't really get a hold of me directly. Right. It has to be through the sites. Also, actually, the best way to get a hold of me because it's an older book, so I get less mail, is one to the book.com. The number one to based the, it's the based site for wrong. this, and it's a, it's a fun uh, website. Actually, the Planeta in uh, Mexico, the mm -hmm. Spanish publisher, did an even better one where they have the earthquake happen to link into the idea of 2012. That's cool, that's a great cover. Leader. But, <laughs> But that site is actually the best way for people who want to get a message to me because I, I'm, I, I like to see what my readers are thinking, so I go there and that's, you know, but you can send me a message about any of the other books. Okay, great. So today we're, we're at Author 101. This is Rick Frischman's yes. Author 101. Uh, you spoke here before. Many times. Many times. I, I enjoy coming. Right. Tell, tell us uh, what's, why Author 101, why Rick Frischman, okay. and why you keep coming well, back, and why you might tell authors to come here. Yeah, well, first, Rick is a great guy. I mean, I really come out of friendship. The first time he really had to talk me into it because I said, I don't really have time for this. I don't want any clients. I have more clients than I can handle. You know, because for most agents who come here, it's a great place to get new clients. And the reality is I do get great clients. I send them to other agents who work for me because I'm right. not able to take on new clients myself. But I have to say the quality of the people coming is better and better. And I had meetings this morning with about 10 people. I think seven of them are people that I'd be happy to have our agency represent. They're really accomplished people and, you know, know what they're doing. Right. And I think part of the reason for that is that Rick has, you know, really got the system down. He's got very good uh, people on the panels. He's not just talking about the traditional things like how to get an agent, how to write a book proposal. That's kind of old hat. Right. He's also talking about, well, maybe you want to market it yourself or maybe even if you do have a publisher you want to do your own internet campaign. So he's got internet experts, he's got you know, everything you could possibly need if you were going to do the book yourself or if you're working with a major publisher. And that's what I'm so surprised at because I expected to come to these things and, and find a bunch of newbie, mm -hmm. I have an idea, I want to do a book. And there's, there's, there's some like, of that. And there's yeah. a good, it's a good place for those people to come to learn how to get their book out and find a ghostwriter and, and the mm -hmm. agent the whole bit. On the other hand, I've met a lot of authors here on their third, fourth book, some best-selling authors here that are looking to find different ways to publish and get involved in social media, which they know mm -hmm. nothing about, and this, they have it all here. It's great. Yeah. No, really, I'll probably keep coming as long as Rick keeps having these, and, you know, he's very gracious, and it's, we have a lot of fun. Well, thank you so much, Bill. This is uh, J.W. Najarin with William Gladstone. Thank you guys so much for uh, uh, doing this interview with us today. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. All right. Goodbye.